Hey guys, welcome to the Nut Vine. Uh, this is Pradeep Chaudhary, and we'll be continuing with our fast API. So in this video, we'll be uh, like putting some structure around the, our API. Would we'll be adding some class uh, like model structure to our API. Would we'll be uh, also introducing some part of the group operation using uh, uh, this kind of a data structure in this video. Uh, and, and uh, like uh, in this video, like uh, as I said, uh, it would be a list kind of a data structure, but in the future videos, we'd be also implementing that using persistent data storage, uh, like uh, Postgres database, for example. So now let's go ahead and let's start our uh, programming part. So, so this is where we left in the last video. So this video, uh, like uh, in the last video, we had defined a couple of very basic routes uh, like just to uh, explain the concept, that's all we did. So in this video, we'll be doing some uh, meaningful stuff, uh, I would say. So we'll be removing uh, 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 the code that we had in the previous uh, video for the routes, and we'll be starting fresh. So now let's go ahead and let's int uh, introduce, uh, like import the library required for defining our base model. So for defining our base model, we'll be using our uh, Pydantic uh, library. So Pydantic library uh, provides a uh, tons of functionality to do validation using the uh, model structure. So we'll be using that. Uh, so that does very, um, uh, very compatible with uh, fast API. You can find tons of documentation um, uh, like uh, uh, including Pydantic base models for fast API. So it's a really convenient and interesting as well. So uh, we'll be importing the base model uh, class from the Pyrendic library. So from uh, Pyrendic import base model. So now uh, we'll be, uh, as said, we'll be uh, introducing some part of the crude, uh, uh, crude operations. Uh, so in this video, we'll be doing just the get and the post method. In the uh, next videos, we'll be doing the put uh, patch and uh, uh, put patch and delete methods. So uh, for crude operation in this video, we'll be using a simple uh, list kind of a data structure of say, uh, like let's uh, do it for student data, for example. So we'll be uh, uh, like having uh, multiple student data uh, in a dictionary, uh, like in a list. So each student data will be dictionary having few keys and few values. So now let's go ahead and uh, let's create our uh, fake student data. So, uh, as I said, it would be a list and we'd have a list of uh, like with multiple uh, keys. Uh, so let's have one of the keys as the nut vine. Uh, sorry, one of the keys as name and the value of the name would be the nut vine. So after that, let's say we have one more key. That's the degree. Uh, let's call uh, back, say grad for graduation. Then uh, say section. Uh, these are some like random key, key values in like this. So this is one of the uh, data that uh, of the dictionary that we have for our uh, fake student data. So let's go ahead and we'll add one more as well. So we'll just add. Uh, I don't want to spend much time on this. So now we have our two dictionaries in the fixed uh, student data. Each of the dictionary have a uh, name, uh, degree, and section as that piece. So now let's go ahead and let's define our um, class. Um, let's define our model, sorry. So for defining our model, uh, we'll uh, define it as a class and we'll name the class as a student and uh, it would be the base model of the Pythonic library. So uh, in this would also be having name, data and section as we had for our fake data. So we'd be maintaining the consistent same the data structure so that we don't have any issues in parsing it. So section, it would be a string as well. So now uh, we have defined our base model uh, as student. So now let's go ahead and let's define our uh, first route. So we'll define our uh, first route as get method. So in this method, we'll be returning uh, the entire uh, fake student data. Uh, that's a list of data. We'll be returning it as, as JSON uh, using this method. So we'll define uh, the route as the index route. So just a slash. 
then we'll be defining uh, another parameter that is the response model parameter. So we don't have to explicitly make the JSON conversion. Uh, Fast API would automatically take care of the conversion. So uh, our response would be a list of stud uh, student uh, objects with uh, added tags as well. I just prefer to add tags, um, like keep tags handy. So now, uh, um, this way, uh, like uh, I will add it as tax uh, get. So now we'll define the path function for it. So we'll name it uh, get student. And no parameters required here. We'll just uh, uh, add a logging statement here. So let's just begin getting student details. Um, then uh, we'll just uh, return the fake student data here. So that's it for our get model. So now let's see, uh, we'll run our uh, uh, API and we'll see if there are, uh, there are any errors, we'll go ahead and we'll fix those. So let's open our terminal. We'll see it into the directory. Uh, okay, that's weird. Uh, app directory and we'll start the API now. So to start the API, we'll use the UVCon WSGI server. So now we'll just run this. Okay, so we need to activate the environment as well. So we'll use the same environment that I that I created in the previous video. Okay, so now uh, after running the UVCon command, this throws me this error. Uh, the name error name is not defined, so we forgot to uh, include the list package uh, for uh, from the typing library here. So we'll go ahead and uh, import that. So okay, now let's okay. Now we can see the application startup has been completed. We'll stop it then. Start it again. So it's complete now. So now let's go ahead and we'll run our API. Uh, so we'll get the Swagger UI for this API. So now we can see our route here. So try it out, execute. So uh, now we can see that we are uh, getting the list as JSON format. So it also has two dictionaries uh, with the details that we put for the fake student data. So now let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll add a post request uh, as well uh, to this uh, particular API. The post request will do what? It will take the stud uh, student class um, next to uh, the details of student, uh, uh, one individual student, and it will add it to the fake student data uh, list. And it will return, uh, say, it will return the uh, length of the uh, fake student data. Yes. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that particular post on. So simple add up post and will be sorry for the inconsistency of my quotes. Uh, so now we'll add, use a different uh, parameter here which specifies status code here. Uh, so um, if the request is success, uh, successfully processed, it will return a status code as 201. And we won't uh, be using uh, the student response model here. We'll be using a uh, different uh, dictionary, uh, different JSON here. So we won't specify that particular parameter here. So again, we'll uh, specify the tags. Uh, we'll put it as post here. So we'll define the path of um, path operation here. We'll call the function add student. Uh, and here we'll pass the payload and the payload will be a student object. So the stu uh, so it will automatically uh, pass the student uh, class and it will uh, uh, ask the user to pass in the name data and section detail uh, from uh, directly uh, like by passing this base model class. So now we'll uh, first things first, we'll add the login statement here just to keep things clean. Then uh, would, uh, 
converted uh, convert the payload into a dictionary. So payload dot bit. Uh, then would app, uh, append this uh, student uh, student object into uh, the fake student data list that we already have. So now we have appended it. Now we'll return. As I said, we'll return a different JSON, and this JSON will have um, will return the ID of the uh, recently added uh, recently added uh, student data into the fake student data uh, list. So to do that, we can just return the length of the fake student data and minus one. So now let's go ahead and let's run our API. So as we can see, uh, it already took the changes and it has started in the API with the recent changes. Now let's go ahead and let's refresh our uh, strategy. UI. We can see another route here. So we'll do try it out. So now we can see we have to input the details in a JSON format uh, <clears throat> rather than uh, how we were inputting it uh, before, uh, which was uh, more of a um, like uh, input format. So we'll go ahead and we'll modify our values here. Uh, so we'll call it the nerd fine three. Ah, don't mind uh, me here. This is some values. So we'll do an execute. Okay, now we can see we got the IDS too. So now let's see and uh, we'll execute the uh, get statement. We'll see uh, what's the total number of uh, uh, dictionaries that we have in the fixed student data. So now we can see we have been written three, uh, three um, student details uh, as a response body. So now let's see, uh, we'll add one more uh, to this particular uh, fixed student data. And we'll see if we are uh, getting four feet at one point. Okay, now we can see all the four here. So, okay, that's it for this video. So, in the next video, we have a ton of things to do. So, we'll be adding more structure to it. We'll be uh, like in this video, we had the binary base model in the same. Uh, uh, same uh, file as our routes and everything. So in the uh, next video, uh, we'll, uh, uh, what we'll do first is we'll segregate this pyidentic based model uh, definition. We'll keep that in models.py and we'll have a student.py which will have our, our route details and our main.py which will uh, have the, uh, like which will include the student route details uh, into the main uh, API. So uh, we'll be adding some more structure uh, we'll be cleaning uh, uh, the files into a, mo a more modular way uh, so that like we keep it as readable as possible. So if you find it uh, found it interesting, share it with your friends, colleagues, stay tuned. Have a good day.